Happens. It's your boy, Big TCG Fan, coming at you with another video. And today we're going to continue opening up packs from the Star Trek The Next Generation customizable card game. This is the original game that came out in the 90s. And so we're, we're going to crack these bad boys open and see what we get. Uh, without a doubt, like I said on the last video, this, this game has more positive memories in my mind than most TCGs that we've played. I had a lot of fun. Oh, nice. A nice Romulan Kvort class. So I, I'm kind of hoping, though, that we do get a couple of the main characters. You know, the Picard or Riker, Data, Worf, something like that, just because it's kind of cool. You know, I loved it. Like I said, when I played this game, I would use Klingons and I would just blow up everyone's ships. And so you'd get these guys that would go through and they'd have like a card and they'd go through all the trouble of putting all these guys on there and they'd have fancy missions and I'd just stuff whatever generic missions I had in there to, because I didn't really care about that. My goal was to blow up all your ships, kill all your people and make you scoop. Nice. We're going to need that. An artifact. Nice. The Hork. We probably play. I know we got a couple. We'll definitely play them. If I remember correctly, you, you get them as rewards for completing missions. No, no, you can just play it immediately. Tells you to take double turns for. Oh my goodness. That's insane right there. <laughs> I'll just take two turns for the rest of the time. I might have had that. I might, I might put those in the. Because two turns is not something you can pass up on. You know what I mean? We're kind of go through these quickly so that we can... Oh, Sela. Nice. You know, we want to be able to take two turns. That would be fun. One, two, three, four. That's one of those cards they probably... I think, if I remember correctly, they actually banned that card for tournament play. Because it was just like everyone played it. You had to, because if you're... If they're out... Oh, if they're taking two turns and you're only taking one, you're at a massive disadvantage. So I think that that was a card that actually did get banned, if I remember correctly. With good cause. I mean, that's insane. You know, oh, I'll just play this card and for the rest of the game, I get two turns. <laughs> Completely unfair. Ah, excellent. Federation Outpost. We now have an outpost for all sides. An event. Oh, there you go. I remember that episode. Yes. Living life to its fullest, I guess you could say. Two, three, four. So we probably, well, if we get another artifact, like I said, I might just straight out not play the artifacts. And now that I got all three outposts, we'll probably get a bunch of them. We'll probably just not play the artifacts. Come on. Oh, there you go. Let's give me a couple of the cool characters. You know, I mean, it'd be fine if we don't get them because then we can just have be an even balanced play. Because if you get one deck that has all the rare powerful cards and the other one not, you're really going to take away from the enjoyment of the game. Boy, I can't wait to do the deck building for this. I can't speak for you guys, but there's nothing. What the heck? Come on. I don't need to investigate disappearance. I need Jean-Luc Picard, man. Well, me, Kayla Collis. You know, I got Worf's brother, and I think he's a rare, so that's good. But And I got Tasha Yar, so we did get some. But we're going to need to get enough of the command leader guys so that we can fly these sh bigger ships in order to make it fair. Oh, there's a much a phaser. Duras. All right. Yeah, Duras. He was a bad guy in the movie, in the TV show for Worf because he killed, killed Worf's woman. He was a traitor. You know what? That's okay. He's... Oh, look at that. We got a neutral guy with a star. That'll be useful. Can you imagine him if I pull, like, the Enterprise and he's, like, the guy piloting it because I didn't pull any of the Enterprise crew with his command star? Oh, here's another Romulan command. Excellent here. There's another Romulan right there. I always see that first one, but it's okay. He's just an uncommon. I'm trying to bust through these so we don't have to... Really, we want to see the good stuff. You know what I mean? Pardic. 
event planet uh ro roga dinar excellent another <laughs> yeah oh boy we're like pretty much at the, the two-thirds done point and we have yet to pull any of the major characters outside tasha yar and she died in like season two or three Hewnet from the first episode it's going to be scroll the Romulan guy. I pulled a couple of good Klingon guys. Plenty of good Klingon guys. Another rare. I'm pulling these rare planets like crazy, man. God, you're telling me you will have all the best planets available that you will never be able to. Sad part is I don't think I'm even going to be able to find anyone to play this game. And I had some friends who used to play it. And I think some fan clubs still play it, but. It's okay. Yeah, this game is dead. It's been dead for a while. They tried to reboot it as the devil. They tried to reboot it and like redo it, and that only lasted for a little while. In the original version, like, and they ended up going along and like adding a bajillion factions. Like, they actually added the Borg as a faction. Talk about that. Seems as though it would be really unfair because the Borg are ridiculously powerful, and so you're sitting here running with your regular. Federation crew and your opponent shows up with a freaking Borg. Nice. Might have one of the players be Klingon and one of them be Romulan because I'm not seeing much in the Federation the way it's looking like it's going to be. Yeah, Can you imagine that? You're like, oh, I got my nice little Bajoran fleet and this guy shows up with the Borg. We are the Borg. Prepare to lose horribly as we make everybody else Borg around us. Alright, T-Bock. Oh, Kalar. It's funny, she's a Klingon, but she's actually on the Romulan side. So that's two Federation rare people, but they're not like really good ones, you know? Oh, uh, here's a good one, though. That'll, that'll be useful. He's an uncommon, though. Alright, ooh, the galaxy. So we got some good ships for them, at least. None of the rare ones, though. That's going to be interesting. Like I said, we'll split it all up. That's good. Another planet. God, what is with me and the planets, huh? I pulled a lot of these location watch cards. Oh, there's another Klingon. <laughs> well, we'll come back to you in a moment, my friend. Don't worry. Uh, another mercenary ship. That's, good. That's one thing I did like. It was really smart of them to put the mercenaries in there to allow you to have that if you don't have a lot of cards. But other than the oh nice another powerful Klingon ship. I think what we'll do when I build the deck is I'll just try to build it straight up. Not try to be like, oh I'll just blow up all your ships and then play in poor Junior or, or Kitty Climber 12, you know what I oh, look at that. That's a Weasley though. Look. Two outposts. Another Romulan ship. Albert Einstein, the hologram. Nice. Man, they are really hosing me on the the um, Federation characters, aren't they? I mean, they give me a few good ones, but I literally got none of the bridge crew except Tata Yar. You know, and like I said, she died in like season two or something like that. Another planet. Are you serious? <laughs> Gotta love this, huh? There's just like, here, eat another planet, buddy. Good luck. And you're just like, really? Really, dude? You're really gonna stick it to me with these planets? And it's like, yes. Yes, I am. Another planet. Oh, another planet. Lots of locations. Look at this. Fleet Admiral Shanti and an event. Lore's Fingernail. Alright, we're down to two packs. And none of the major bridge crew characters were pulled at all the rng gods do not like me at all it's all good though i'm having a good time you know it's bringing back a lot of oops i missed a card there good bringing back a lot of good memories you know what i mean dilemma another dilemma oh they love giving me this all right come on last pack let's see give me a picard or a Riker or a data or a wharf those are what i want you can even give me a Crusher or a Deanna Troy. Phaser. McKnight. Runabout. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be using the... I mean, they've got good ships. Tons of locations. Hey, Thomas Riker. That's the alternate version of Will Riker. So there you go. At least I got kind of something. 
I don't know about that. Okay, so there you go. We have all the cards here. So what we're going to do on our next video is I'll take all this hot mess. Uh, look like likely it's going to be Romulan versus Klingon. I'm going to build two decks with it right here in front of you. And then the next video after that will be me and a friend throwing down. So this concludes my video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can. Peace out.